bullying, intimidation, misuse of council funds and property, factional vendettas, you name it, Bring Bank had it. Even pornography on the laptops of two councillors, former Mayor Natalie Suleiman and Councillor Ken Kapar, who constantly drove despite his licence being suspended for speeding and drink driving. A cesspit of Labor mates. And here they are, mates directly connected to the heart of this government. Much of the report centres on the influence of the Suleiman family. Haki Suleiman, the father of Natalie, works for Planning Minister Justin Madden. As outgoing mayor, Natalie Suleiman used ratepayers' money to buy herself farewell gifts, a $1,000 Mont Blanc pen and a $400 handbag. Under pressure from the Suleimans, $680,000 was cut from council projects and directed to improving the Carnley Reserve, home of the Suleiman family's soccer team. It's total contempt for local people. I mean, it is the misuse, total misuse of local government. Haki Suleiman, who has three convictions for assault with a weapon, presides over a Turkish and Cypriot welfare association, which uses these council premises in Big Street, St Albans. The Ombudsman reported the association used this council-owned building for five years without paying a cent. The building was also used for ALP branch meetings, where newly arrived migrants were signed up to the party. I do intend to speak with Mr Suleiman and to discuss his future. The Ombudsman found ALP MP Theo Theophanis, Telmo Languilla and former MP Andrew Theophanis tried to influence council decisions behind the scenes. I am appalled by the behaviour which has occurred. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.